Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to start lesson two, day five. This is our last day together, so we are going to make it count, okay? Let's get started. Beginning sounds, we have been, we have been working on beginning sounds so much. You are experts now. We know that beginning sounds are sounds that you hear in the beginning of the word. I'm going to say a word, and I'm going to tell you the beginning sound. The word is tree. The beginning sound of tree is t, t. Now, I will say words and I want you to tell me the beginning sound. All right. Make sure your listening ears are on. Let's get started. Box. Box. Did you say b? Great job. Fan. Fan. Did you say nice job? Mop. Mop. What do you hear in the beginning? Mmm, that's right. Cup. Cup. What do you hear in the beginning of the word cup? I heard you say k. Great job. Pen. Pen. Did you say p? Nice job. Sad. Sad. Did you say s? Because you are r. Correct. All right, we are going to look at our letter. This is letter T. Can you say T? Say it nice and loud. T. All right, look at uppercase T and lowercase T. I'm going to look at uppercase T first. I know uppercase T is the big letter, the one that starts at top. All right, look at your magic fingers ready. We are going to write letter T together. All right, a long line down, begins the T, go back to the top, draw a straight line across, and a T it will be. And that is how you write uppercase T. Now let's look at lowercase T. Lowercase T is the small letter. We know that lowercase letters don't start at the top. All right, get your magic fingers ready. Not as tall. A straight down line for small t. Go to the middle, make a cross and a t, you will see. And that is how you write lowercase t. We have wrote uppercase t and lowercase t together. Let's look at the pictures that begin with t. Tiger, telephone, toaster. What is that sound that you hear in the beginning of every word that I just said? T. Great job, because letter T makes a sound T. Okay, we have been working on antonyms. Antonyms are words that don't, that have opposite meaning, right? Let's look at this picture. The elephant, the elephant is big. We know that the Antonym of big is small, like the little mouse. Now, your turn. Waking up. This girl is waking up. What is the opposite, the antonym of waking up? Hmm, what do you do at night? Sleeping. Yes, the antonym of waking up is sleeping. Loud, loud. What is the opposite of loud? I'm sure your teacher tells you this every day. Quiet, loud and quiet are antonyms. They are opposite of each other. Dry, do you see how it's raining and this girl is holding an umbrella and she is dry? What is the antonym of dry? I want you to think. What if she did not have that 
that umbrella? Wow, I'm using questions. Hmm, what if she did not have umbrella? What would she be? Wet. The opposite of dry is wet. Great job. All right, we are going to review our vocabulary words. We are masters of our vocabulary words, right? So I want you to point to the picture when I say the word, okay? Busy. What picture shows busy? Tell your teacher. The next word is tortoise. What picture shows tortoise? Job. What picture shows someone working at a job? Company. Point to the picture that shows company. Remember what company means. You got to think about it. All right, scoop. One of these pictures is showing someone scooping something. What is that picture? Point to it, point to that picture. And container. I actually put more than one container here. Where is a picture of the containers? Nice job, everyone. I saw your fingers going everywhere. And it means you're really trying. Let's look at the answers. Busy with the busy picture. Tortoise, the picture of the animal that looks like a turtle. Then we have company. Company, the group of people. Scoop, they're scooping the seeds out of the pumpkin. Containers, you saw the containers with the food. And job, the, the job. Oh my goodness, the job is supposed to go with job, but that is a person working at the cashier and she is checking people out at the grocery store. That's her job. All right. We have read the book, How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? I want you to tell your teacher, what is the genre of this book, How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? Genre, is this genre informational text or is it fantasy? Look at the cover and the title to help you and tell your teacher the genre of this book. Okay, now I'm going to reread this book and your teacher is going to pause the book and ask you some questions relating to our strategies that we have worked. Maybe they'll ask you some questions about beginning sounds or antonyms, or maybe they'll make you infer and predict or find why the author is writing the book. Hmm. So make sure your listening ears are on so you are ready for your questions that your teacher will ask you. Are you ready? Let's go. How do dinosaurs go to school? Written by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Written by, those are the authors. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to school, does he roughhouse and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? I have a question for you. The dinosaur is roughhousing right here. What is the opposite of roughhouse? If roughhouse is being tough on someone, what's the opposite? The dinosaur would be being nice to them. Let's keep reading. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? And when in the classroom, plunk down in his chair, does 
does a, does a dinosaur fidget, his tail in the air. Sometimes in books, we hear words we don't know. Fidget, we have went over it before, but what can you use to help you find the word fidget? Yes, the pictures. Let's keep reading. Does he like to growl during chalk talks or roar out of turn? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No. Remember, boys and girls, what starts happening in these pages? What happens to the dinosaurs in the way they act? Do they stay the same or do they change? Let's keep reading. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with the number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work. Good work, little dinosaur. Thumbs up if you like this book. In, this, in these lessons, we have learned so much. Now, you are experts on beginning sounds. And now you know, how, you know how to tell the opposite of words. Sometimes you want to find the opposite meaning of words to help you understand the picture or the book better. And you have also learned different skills while reading. You know that you can look at pictures to find out what the author is saying. You also know to look at pictures to find out what will happen next. And also, we listen to the words and the pictures and we think about it and ask questions to find out why did this author write the book? All right, everyone, thank you so much for learning with me. I had so much these five days with you. We are done. Great job, kindergartners. Give me an air five, high five. Why don't you give me two? Great job, everyone. Bye.